Hey y'all, it's Coach Kyra, and today I'm here with a car chat to talk to you about motivation and why we need to stop looking for motivation to be the justification to do the things that we need to do. Here's my question for you. When has motivation ever made you a better parent? When has motivation ever made you a better wife, spouse, partner? When has motivation ever made you a better employee? In other words, you aren't probably most of the time motivated to do any of those things. Even for your paycheck, you are not motivated to go to work. Even for your spouse, you are not motivated to stay up watching that dadgum stupid golf tournament all weekend. Even for your children, you are not motivated to get off of work and cook food and clean up and get kids to bed and get them ready for school and help with homework and get a text from the teacher that says, Kenneth cannot stop talking in class. Can you please have a conversation with him? And you show up to the school and you had to go on your lunch break and embarrass Kenneth. And now we hear in this spiral, Kenneth mad at you, won't do his homework and you're back to square one. We do not ever feel motivated rarely feel motivated for the things that our life requires and still somehow we show up and do those things and i need you to separate the things that are required for this goal that you have in terms of your health fitness and fat loss there are some things that are absolutely required to attain this goal what's required coach one you got to be in a calorie deficit underneath that calorie deficit you need to be consuming enough protein and fiber, which means that you probably need to be eating on a schedule, which means you probably need to be planning and preparing food every week. That's how you stay in a calorie deficit. Step two of what's required, you have got to be walking. You need to get something like 6,000 to 10,000 steps per day, just depending on where you are. And that means you need to be making time to do your walks every single day. Every day you need to be walking. And then finally, you have got to be resistance training. There is no world where you should be losing weight without also focusing on building and retaining muscle mass. You have got to be doing it. Those three things are non-negotiable. And whether you feel motivated or not, those are three things that you have got to do. I got to do it. I have to do it. Just like you have to show up for work, just like you have to feed your kids, just like you have to watch stupid stinking golf tournaments with your husband every other weekend. You gotta do it. Motivation is not going to make you do it. And we understand motivation improperly. We're actually understanding the root of that word wrong. We think motivation is about a positive emotion. I gotta feel good and feel inspired. I gotta hear somebody like Coach Kyra. I gotta, Coach Kyra has to fuss at me in order for me to go do my thing. No, motivation is not about positive emotion. Motivation is not about riling up the wherewithal and the go get it and the I can do, I can do all of this. I can do anything. That's not what motivation is. Motivation, momentum, movement, all start with the same root. M O motion, motion, activity, movement, putting one foot in front of the other. That is the fastest way to get motivated. You get motivated by pulling your leg, your left leg in front of the right and your right leg in front of the left and doing that over and over and over and over and over again. That's how you get motivated. You will not get motivated listening to people like me yelling on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. That will not motivate you. But what will motivate you is when you don't feel like going to the gym or you don't feel like recording YouTube videos and you're doing both at the same time, even though that's probably pretty dangerous, all right? All that to say, motivation is about activity, it's about what you do. It's about what's moving, it's about what's flowing, it's about what's having action and activity behind it. If you want to get motivated, then you got to get moving. And the hardest part, of this journey is putting one foot in front of the other to move, to act. That's the hardest part of this journey, is getting yourself up from the couch, 
when you've had a long day at work and you want to cuss everybody out and you don't feel like parenting, you don't feel like being a spouse, and you don't feel like exercising. That's the hardest thing is to get started. But I guarantee you, left in front of right, right in front of left is the way that this gets done. And no matter how you slice it, whether you determine that, hey, you know what, I'm trying to do this independently, or hey, you know what, I saw some things on a chat, talk to chat GPT and they told me how many calories I need to eat. Or hey, you know what, I'm gonna call my doctor and see if I can actually get approved for the semaglutide or trisepicide shots. No matter how you slice it, you are going to have to do those three things, period. No matter where you are, who you are, or what, what you're coming up against, you're gonna have to do those three things in order to get to this result. And you won't be motivated to do it. So what do you do? You do it. You put one foot in front of the other and you show up and you do it. And you do it the very best you can that day. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be flawless. It doesn't have to be spotless. It doesn't have to be extraordinary. You don't have to set new records. Every time you do it, you don't have to surpass yourself or do more than you did the last time. Every time you do it, you just need to show up one foot in front of the other. That's how this gets done. That's how this gets done. I'm talking to so many people about motivation this week. It's interesting because we think that we're always supposed to be motivated. That's a lie. Who told you that? I didn't tell you that. You didn't hear that from me, <laughs> that you're always supposed to be motivated. If you hear anything from me, most of the time what you hear from me is that I don't feel like doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. That's the message that I want you to receive from me is that it is my job to look like I feel like doing this, but I don't ever feel like doing it ever. I told y'all, what I usually feel like doing is I usually feel like going to boxing class, but even sometimes I don't feel like boxing. Even sometimes, that's difficult for me to want to do. So here we are, on the way to the gym, on the way to CrossFit. Don't feel like it. I could stay home. I would have rather rode my bike today, but here we go. On the way to do the thing that I know is going to get me the results that I'm looking for. Are you? Are you willing to put one foot in front of the other to get what you want? I hope this message resonates with you. I'm going to focus on the road now. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll be talking to you soon.